Good morning, everyone. This is Narada Rishi Raja with ExpeditiousFool.com, the mindfulness in motion. And I'm here for your Lightworkers card pull starting off the week on Monday. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's see what we've got. We've got the Devil. I'm using an interesting deck today, using the Tarot of the Abyss. Don't worry, it's not as dark as it seems. It is just a black and white deck, but it's got these different um, depictions on it, which is what I really like. And this devil card, we can see a heart, and then that comes up and it's wrapped around this person, this angel here, right? And this says a lot to me. This says, if we cling too tightly to our paints, you know, of that heart, it can then prevent us from doing healing work, doing the spiritual work we're here to do. Every single human has a choice. That choice is to be God on earth or to be rooted in the material. That's it. God on earth is an angel, right? We feel unfulfilled when we don't do that. We don't do that because we don't know how to do this, this thing that I'm going to mention. It's going to help you get through this energy whenever you get through this. Because anytime we get our heart in knots, it will prevent us from being able to fly with our angel wings. So this is really hard when we have offenses thrown at us, right? Um, that's been happening a lot in my life lately. Um, there's, there's a particular person in the community who is upset by the way that I am. Um, but we can root in those. So that's, that's prevalent in my field. But what I'm saying is we could root in those, but ultimately, whenever you see somebody throwing a fence at you or anything like that, I mean, it's just you. It's another version of you. So why are we attacking ourselves, first of all? And we're not going to fix it by attacking that person because then we're attacking ourselves again, right? So it, it, we have to get to this higher understanding. We have to realize that this God source thing, this vibration that we all are part of, right? It's infinite. So it holds multiple different types of energy. It holds the devil, well, this is also an angel. Hurt people hurt people. The angel tied down is going to lash out. So understand that about the other person, first and foremost. They're lashing out because they're a tied down angel. They're not living in alignment. They haven't found their full connection with that source that has taken away all of that. And they, they don't have the ears to hear yet because they're still tied up. They're, they're an animal in a trap, right? That's this devil energy. That's who will be throwing an offense at you. It doesn't matter the situation, right? When And that's why ahimsa is so important, non-harm in the Yoga Sutras as far as an indicator. Because if you're moving in a way of causing harm, then you know you're caught. That's why, <laughs> right? that's that's how you know. You know you're caught. If you're moving in that way, you know you're caught. So you're not doing it. So the way that I like to look at it in this infinite space, right? This infinite vibration. All spaces have to be held. Is I thank them. Anybody that throws an offense at me or has thrown an offense at me, just know you have something coming to you, sir or madam. <laughs> And that's a big thank you. Thank you for holding that space, whatever that is. That anger, that, that, that hurt, all of it, all, all, of, all of whatever it is towards me, thank you. Thank you for holding that space. This is what I do anytime I see this devil. Anytime I see this devil. This is how I recommend everyone else to get through this situation. You look at whoever throws an offense at you and you thank them. Because that is God's source. So it's giving you a lesson. It's giving you a lesson in whether or not you're going to be attached to that situation. Are you? 
If so, is that full understanding? And if you do pass the lesson, way to go. Then also, thank you. Thank you as a reminder and a confirmation of my path. And thank you for you holding up that energy that I don't want to hold. You know, there's all kinds of things we can get mad about in the world. There really is. All kinds of things we can get mad about. And the more aware we get, the more things we will see. The key is understanding the bigger picture of it all and being able to look at it and being like, thank you. Thank you for holding that energy so I don't have to. You know, any anybody out there committing an atrocity, thank you for holding that energy so I don't have to. And I make a commitment, I won't. And that's the accountability piece. That's the reason why us that are, are dedicated on it, we may trigger these folks. These just come as lessons. And we can say we trigger these folks, but it's a bigger scale and it's a bigger plan than that. No, we need to continuously have these lessons to make sure that we are still on the path that we want to be on. It's a much bigger game than most people realize, which is the reason why sometimes people won't understand. And if they don't seek understanding and they seek from this place, they just won't get it. We can just hold space, send out gratitude, send out love, send out compassion, and know that we are the masters of our own destiny. If anybody would like to schedule a session with me, tarot, breathwork, meditation, yoga, numerology reading, uh, Tibetan sound healing, or prana energy healing, I know that's a long list. There's much, much more to it. You can go to the website, or you can send me a message on any of the social medias, and we'll get you scheduled as soon as possible. We've got some exciting announcements coming on um, probably later on this week about some new things happening, especially if you're in the local area. So that's excellent, um, and a lot of programs out there. I hope each and every one of you have a great day on purpose, like we talk about, by managing it with that DMP, that daily mindfulness practice. And thank you so much. Stay mindful. Have a great day. Namaskaram.